Take the next right onto West Lola Drive, then your destination will be on the right. Hi-Fi works. <clears throat> I've never seen one in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> China. Some of them are Japan, though. Saw a last minute sign on the highway. All this in the barn. Magic eraser. Is that Betty Crocker? You know why I'm crying? Cause I, cause in bed you're lying. Get well soon. the Sears frogs. It's like the Sears mushrooms, only they're frogs. Mm. Remember I've had the frog canisters before? Oh yeah. I think I should do that. <laughs> another one? <laughs> another one? Another pickle keeper. There's another one. I keep going say it. Another pickle Sounds all green. keeper. You want to start your booth? You can have tickets for the price tags. <laughs> Like that one lady had the playing cards. Oh. That's the real folder. It doesn't really let go of it, but. I've never seen anything like I've never either. I've never seen it to have a okay, well, holder. I know I it's not $10. Yeah. I'm cheap today. We're here to see a vintage collection to potentially buy it. I wonder where they do the flea market because how would they stop everybody from coming in? True. So maybe they don't do it here. They had a security gate. We had to give all the information the before right we were Golden allowed Ranger to come Avenue. onto the property. Then turn left. Here we go. You got your buying shoes on? Finding. Uh, talk I just tossed that one. Yeah. What is that case? Two dollars is just the case. Mm -hmm. Tuari. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and it's also like um, bicentennial, which mm -hmm. is not really something. I like these. Hey guys, Heather here, and. 
I want to show you everything that I got this weekend. Um, yesterday after work, I had a, found a lady on Marketplace and she had a ton of really cute old sheet sets. When I messaged her, she said that they were already spoken for. Um, she probably had 25 sets and she was only asking $3 a piece. And I told her that I wanted to buy all of them. Um, and she said that they had all been spoken for. Well, I persisted and said that if any didn't fall through or anything, that I would be happy to buy them all. And she came back and was like, okay, I'll let you know. And I just kind of chalked it up to maybe I would not hear from her again. Well, she ended up messaging me and saying that these are the four or five that I have left and they were decent ones. So I said that if she would hold them back for me, I would take them. And she said, well, we're having a yard sale this weekend. So if you just want to come for the yard sale, I'll put them back for you. And you can also check out what else we have. It's my mine and my mother's stuff. And we were collectors and I'm thinking that sounds right up my alley. So after work yesterday, the mister and I headed to this yard sale and to pick up the sheets. It was probably about an hour drive from us. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I got at her house and then I'll show you, um, we also found a yard sale on the way, so we're on the way home. So I got this cool, I usually don't pick up these um, dresser caddies, men's dresser caddy jewelry box things anymore. This one's different, it has like a leather squishy topper. It needs cleaned up big time, but it had a velvet lined drawer and it has this little top part two, there's a little um, leather strip in there. I don't know what that would be like, probably for your tie clips, um, rings, all that kind of thing. And it's also velvet lined. It's not marked or anything on the bottom, but it was kind of cool. I'd never seen one with this like faux velvet thing on the bottom. I put this in here to keep it safe. So I'll show it to you here. I got this little flower spoon rest. It does have um, some chips in it, but I thought maybe I could match that paint and touch it up. It's marked Morton USA. I thought that was just really, really sweet. So I got that. I think I only paid a dollar for each of those things. Can't get that to go back in there. Um, as far as the sheets go, some weren't that great, but the few that she had left were worth me making the trip. So I just took what she had. They're all, I want to say full size, maybe queen, but I think full, just a real cute little pastel printed sheet, a uh, couple of cute pillowcases and you know that if you've watched my channel before I'll always take cute old pillowcases because I'll put them like all in a mix match lot and then sell them as a mix match lot of six or eight and so that was just a mismatched just a set but a pair they didn't have a sheet set to go with them um this set oh I didn't realize oh I see so she had a solid blue set. I thought this was a bottom sheet that was blue and the top sheet was these flowers, but it's a top and bottom sheet blue and then the floral pillowcases that match that blue. Um, this is only a bottom sheet and then the two matching pillowcases. Again, this is not that exciting. This one is the exciting one. I was so, so excited when she messaged and this was one of the ones that was still available. So the pillowcases don't look like anything special. They're almost like a faux, faux denim, but red. But wait till you see the sheets. Isn't that grand? Fitted and flat in this bright pink, red, orange, beautiful, beautiful set. Beautiful. And honestly, these don't even match, but they made it a set, so we'll take it. So, that was the one that I wanted out of the most out of all the ones she had listed on Facebook. So when she messaged and said, I have these four left and those were one of them, I was making the trip an hour away to get those sheets. And then the last set, and I double checked to make sure that these were actually old because they sort of almost didn't look like they were, um, but they just have like jungle Sahara animals on them. Um, and they are vintage. I can't remember the brand. It's marked here on a tag somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. It is Lady Pepperell. Um, no Iron Muslin, West Point, Georgia. So, and it was the full set of those too. So that was fun. So I picked those babies up, put those back in here. And that's all I got from that sale. But then on the way home, we hit a random barn sale that we just passed and they happened to be out having their sale oh no also at her sale on the way out i paid for all of that and then saw these and it is a full yellow vintage yellow bathroom set so there's two like what look like um like towel bar holders the towel bars obviously you would have to buy a new one of those um these are the ceramic holders a toilet paper 
holder and a soap dish. I've had good luck with these vintage bathroom ceramic pieces before. I've sold a blue set and a pink set. Um, I've never had anything yellow, so I'm ex I was excited to have those. And I we saw those on the way out of the sale, and I think I paid five dollars for the whole set of those. So then we hit the barn sale. Um, I picked up this still in the box. It says on the back with all best wishes, and it's just a little tiny, just like a little glass plate. Um, and it says, know why I'm crying? Cause in bed you are lying, get well soon. And it's just like a little gift piece that you would give somebody if they were not feeling well, which I thought was really sweet. And for it still to be in the box, that was really cute. I always pick up the Betty Crocker recipe card boxes. This had all this recipes for $2. I picked up this paperweight because I just thought it was neat. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen a pineapple. I feel like I always see a regular apple. And this has the Bolcante really super evenly spaced bubbles and a nice polished bottom. So I thought it was really pretty and cute. And then I picked up a set of seven of the Sears Feeling Froggy. I can't remember what the name of it is, but you know, the Sears canisters that have the frog on them and the little frog topper, kind of like the Merry Mushroom, but there are frogs and they were made by Sears too in the same era as the um, Merry Mushrooms and only they were just frogs with little yellow flowers. So this is a whole set of the little frog drinking glasses and there were seven of those. That was all at the barn sale. And then today um, we had a lady reach out um, via my website. She had found me on Etsy because she was researching some things of her own. She helps run a flea market and she had the, the Great Northern or the Quilted Northern um, little prints of the four babies. I don't, if you don't know what that is, then I have a couple on my website or on my on my Etsy. Um, basically, the quilted northern toilet paper put out like a, if you bought enough toilet paper, you could send in your proofs of purchase to get these cute little baby prints or little girls or whatever. And she had a couple of those prints and was like researching them to find out how much they were worth for her to price to put in her flea market. And she found my page on Etsy and it happened to say ships from Indiana because on Etsy they're all about you know less carbon footprint so if you can find something that you want and it ships from a closer destination then you're having less of a carbon footprint so she was excited because she thought well Indiana I'm in Indiana wonder how far away this girl is so she did some digging did some research found my website um, my website separate from Etsy which is ficklemamavintage.com and she put in her email shot us an email and we've been emailing back and forth she telling us about all that she does with the flea market that their retirement community has and inviting us to come and, and go through the flea market obviously but then also telling me about all of the collection that she has um, saved and treasured for the last 20 years since she moved into this retirement community and she wanted to know if we wanted to come pick through her private collection so of course we do not turn that down ever and she was so cute and um, so anyway we got there today met her traded stories she talked for a good long while she was so so sweet and um, she had like covered all the surfaces in her living room and kitchen with the things that she'd pulled out of her collection that she was willing to part with. So a whole couch was full, a coffee table was full, her record player top was full, her dining room table, the china cabinet, the bar across the top of the kitchen. She had stuff everywhere for us picked out. It was so sweet. So wanted to show you everything that I brought home. I did pay up a little for some of her things because I was at a private pick and it was coming from her personal collection. It wasn't a yard sale, so I wasn't paying yard sale prices, but that's okay um, because she was adorable and just, the time spent with her was so sweet so anyway she actually didn't have these pulled out but the mister mentioned that I like you know vintage Christmas ornaments and I've never heard of Miro star but they were perfectly precious in the box and the font is so cute and the colors are really good set of colors so I went ahead and got those um, I paid eight for those which because the box was in such great condition, that's part of the reason why I was able to pay up for those because they're so cute. Um, I got this really cute mushroom piggy bank. It still has a vintage foil sticker on the side, but it's so worn that I cannot read it anymore, but the cork is intact and I just thought it was really, really cute ceramic. Um, let's see what else. On the way out, the mister spotted this little purple swung glass, open mouth, like a triangle bottom, polished bottom vase. I don't know much about it. I think I paid $8 for it on the way out the door. 
she talked me up on these um they're so cute it was a whole stack sitting there and it's Smokey the bear towel sets and she had two and i and she explained that that's because she had two sons and i i think she had a little sentimental value attached to these because i offered her five dollars a set and she um had looked them up and saw that somebody had them listed for 40 so she wanted 20 for the two pairs and she said but she would accept 18 so we got them down to nine dollars a pair um but again i think that that was kind of a sentimental thing for her i i wouldn't normally pay 18 for a towel set or even two towel sets but i don't think she was budging much on that because they were sentimental to her she had saved those and they were her kiddos two towel sets so we obliged her um and paid the 18 on those because they are really cute they're in great shape um but again i think it was a sentimental thing for her on those found this cute set of trick-or-treat halloween cookie cutters there's six cookie cutters in there she named her price on those at six dollars um the inside's real cute it's got like the pictures of each of those things in black and orange so i think anything halloween that's vintage like that is just really really cute um it's funny it says <laughs> trick-or-treat cookie cutters c-o-o-k-y but on the side of it it says for cutting cheese and cranberry jelly and thin bread slices for cutting art clay so it's kind of like not for cookies but they're called cookie cutters but anyway i just thought the graphics on that were really cute anything vintage halloween is it good for me so I got those, uh, paid a dollar a piece for the trivets. I told her that's what I normally would pay. And she said that was fine for her. Picked up this real cute kind of bark cloth looking, uh, it was a curtain, just a curtain, but I liked the pink and the blue in there and the avocado greens. It was just a cute little kitchen window curtain. And the piece de resistance the main reason that i knew that this was going to be a pretty good interaction with the sweet little lady was because in her emails to me she mentioned that she had the sears mary mustard mushrooms um i didn't know what kind of condition they would be in i didn't know what kind of prices she was going to be interested in but she did say that she you know was pretty avid googler so she knew kind of what to look for um Although a lot of people tend to get caught up in what somebody has things listed for and listing is not the same as sold. So I knew there was kind of going to be some educational moments in there maybe for her. Um, if she wasn't versed in figuring out what things sell for, then she would be looking at listed prices and I wouldn't be willing to pay, you know, 25 or 30% of the listed prices. Um, but it didn't really come to that. She, um, kind of told me she was using them as decoration. They were up on the bulkhead of her cabinets in her kitchen. She said, I have all four canisters and three little spice shakers and I want $75. And to me, that's fine. Um, I, it, I've i not seen a full set in person ever. I've had parts and pieces of the set over the years. And I've never, I don't think I've ever accidentally come across somebody who didn't know what they had. Um, I think the other parts and pieces I've had, I've bought at antique malls. So they've been, you know, 10, 12, 15, $20 a piece. And I knew that I could still make a little money on Etsy with that. Um, so I've never ever come across a full set in great condition. So I knew that 75 was a, still a good deal. There's still room for me to make a little money on Etsy. Um, and I knew that I would regret it if I passed them up even at 75. So I just want to show you the ones that she had. She had three of the seasoning shakers. So she had the black pepper and it's in great condition still with the Japan sticker on the bottom. She had the sage, which is in great condition. It still has the cork, the pepper doesn't, and it has a Japan sticker on the bottom. And then probably the most heavily used was the salt. It does still have the cork, but no Japan sticker. The front is perfect. From the top, it's really perfect, but there is a chip in the paint here, not a chip in the actual thing, but just paint chipped off here. But then after I got it home, I noticed that this had been broken off and repaired. Um, it is in the back, so it still displays really cute and is still plenty usable. So that was still fine. And then obviously the tea canister, the coffee canister, and these are all stamped on the bottom. Sears Roebuck & Co, 1978, made in Japan. So that's neat too. The sugar canister. And these are like perfect. Not chipped, not broken, not repaired, nothing. They're stinking beautiful. And finally, the flower canister. In perfect, perfect shape. 
all stamped on the bottom, all in wonderful condition. So I couldn't say no to that. She was the sweetest thing. She asked me if she could give my number to other people in her retirement community. And of course I said yes, because I have a thing for elderly people. Number one, I love them. I think they're the sweetest, they're treasures and their stories are chef's kiss, but also they have good stuff. They have cool stuff from back in the day and that sings to my heart. So of course I said yes, give my phone number to whoever you want to. Um, and then we left with um, promises that we'll go back in a couple of weeks for their um, retirement community's flea market. So I'm excited to see what that holds um, because you never know what fun little old people are gonna bring to put in a, a community yard sale. So I'm really excited for the Mr. and I to go back for that. And we're gonna um, take some flyers because I have been dabbling in um, putting my name out there to see if there's any interest in you know, having me come and set up an estate sale at these people's houses. So I'm, I'm interested to drop off some flyers with her too, because in that type of community, there probably is a market for estate sales. So it's interesting to me that right about the time that I'm thinking, hey, I should set up estate sales because that would interest me. I would love to do that. I like to organize, I like to be surrounded by cool old things. Um, so I, I find it interesting that the, about the time that I decide I wanna try to, you know, see if I can delve into that I get this connection with this sweet little old lady in a retirement community where she pulls some strings and has some knowledge and has a bunch of friends and um, sets up the flea market. So it's cool um, that those two kind of connected with each other and I've got that connection with her now. So I'm excited for that. So I will take you with us, of course, when we go back to that flea market. And then the final thing I have to show you on the way from her house to our favorite spot for lunch at Broad Ripple Brew Pub in Broad Ripple in, in near Indy. Um, we hit a yard sale right off of one of the roads we were taking to get there. And they had a really sweet little light up angel tree topper. And she's adorable. Her face is so cute. And she has her little candles in her hand. She lights up, there's extras in there. They light up behind her wings, red, so cute. And this is cardboard of course, because why wouldn't it be? Um, so really, really cute. It looks, the box looks more like 80s, 90s, but her face and outfit really look more 50s, 60s. So there's no, um, there's no date on here or anything, but it does say made in China. So I, I don't know, it's 697, doesn't say where, but there's no date anywhere, but she sure does look old. So we picked her up, um, said, it, I think I paid $2 again for her. So really cute little thing. I always pick up these kind of angels when I see them. So that is everything for me. We have, oh gosh, we have a town festival with yard sales next weekend. We have a covered bridge festival with yard sales the following weekend. The following weekend is the retirement community flea market. The weekend after that is a local celebrity car show weekend with a lot of yard sales after that. Um, that's towards the end of September. And then the first week of October, there's a major bridge festival about an hour away that has probably a lot of lar yar large yard sales. Um, we've never done that before, but we're thinking about it this year. So that's at least five weekends of thrifting and hauls and showing you what I got and taking you with us. So stay tuned for all of those videos coming up in the future. And I think that's all for now. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.